Alright guys, I'm going to teach you how to use a ruler. I know you think you know how to use a ruler. I know you've been learning how to use a ruler for the last few years in school. But this year in science, we start using the other side of the ruler. The metric side. You guys are used to doing this side, I'm sure. The inches side. Okay. But this year, we're going to be doing the centimeters, or possibly it might say mm for millimeters, but we're going to be using this side in science. Now today, we're going to be measuring our good friend here, Mr. Bacon. Hello, Mr. Bacon. Why don't we have you walk right on over here, Mr. Bacon, over to the ruler, and then lay down for us. Okay. When we start our measuring, we need to make sure that we put his feet, or the edge of whatever we're measuring, on the zero line, not at the end of the ruler. If we do it at the end of the ruler, you're gonna get a wrong and incorrect measurement. So put it at the zero. We also wanna make sure that we're measuring from straight up, okay? If we're measuring from over here, we might get a separate measurement, a different measurement. So do right above, okay? If we look real close, there we go, it's a little blurry, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Here's Mr. Bacon. Now he's irregular, he's not a perfect line. So how do I figure out where the top of his uh, head goes up to? What length he is? Well, I'm gonna use a straight edge. In this case, I'm gonna use my partner's ruler. And as I put the ruler down, I'm gonna straighten it up. It's touching, it's touching his head right up there. And the measurement shows close to 14. But do I write 14? No, I do not. I write 14, and then I put a decimal point, and I count how many millimeters. Those little lines are millimeters. So that would be 14.2. And that is the height, or measurement, of Mr. Bacon. Thank you very much, Mr. Bacon.